So um, I guess what we're supposed to do here is figure out, um, deduce the value of Roman numeral one, which means that they, or, or are we supposed to figure out, figure out everything in this table or just? We don't, we don't have to, but, but you want to it might help practice. us yeah. okay. for practice with these N and okay. L and whatever. Then it can be a little bit confusing. Okay, so um, let's see. So we want to figure out this and this especially, but there's other things we need to figure out too. Maybe I'll just erase this then. So um, let's see. So we know S. So um, what's going to be the number of angular nodes here? Zero. Yeah. yeah one Maybe the first thing we should have done is what's Total L going to be here? What's L going to be? L's uh, going to be one, zero. One. Can't L never be? No. Yeah, L is complete. L, what? L zero, S. Oh. Yeah. Not one. Remember that the basic idea is S, P, D, and F relates to L equals zero, one, two, and three. Yeah. So uh, since they told us that we're focusing on an S orbital, we know that L is equal to zero. It's easy to get confused here. S is the first type of orbital, but that doesn't mean L is one. That means L is zero. So it's good to actually write down this table to avoid careless mistakes. So the very first thing we should do is go from here to L equals zero. Okay. Then we can go from here to here. The number of angular nodes is zero because okay. L tells you the number of angular nodes. Okay. Oh, and uh, I should put this in. They told us the number of radial nodes. We were given this in the problem. Right, okay. and if we weren't. And, and so, uh, I think you have to be given chart. something. You, you're gonna be given enough information so I'll try to figure it out. No, like, I mean, could you know that there's one radial node and just give me that? Well, you'd have to know either total number or You could have figured out that there was one radial node maybe from the picture they gave us up here, although it's hard for me to interpret that yeah, picture. Yeah, that picture doesn't look that But I think what they're trying to say here is, that's a hard picture for me to that's not uh, that's interpret, not but they have a picture that's drawn like this, and I think what they're trying to say is this is the radial node over here. So um, that corresponds to this one radial node. But it, that's not a very well-drawn picture because it's hard to tell whether this is the nucleus or what. But I think they were trying to draw a picture where um, here's the one uh, radial node. Okay. So okay. the total number of nodes is one. Good. Then and we go from here to here. You know what okay. n is because n minus one equals one, so n equals two. That's right. Very good. Um, since the total number of nodes has to equal n minus one, and have here has to be two, because two minus one is one. And ML is zero. That's right, because ML goes from negative L to positive L. Well, okay. between negative zero and positive zero, there's only one number, which is zero. So M sub L has to be zero here. That's right. So I think we've now worked out everything in this column. That's good. So Roman numeral one in this position would have been the number two. And uh, question Roman numeral two over here would have been yeah. the number zero. Okay, so the key thing here is to be, um, be strategic about jumping up and down around here to see what you can figure out at each step. Yeah. So far so good? Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, the next column. So here's the information we're given here. So right. what's the next thing we can figure out now? Um, we can figure out the L. quantum number is three from n minus one equals two. So n has to be three? Yeah. Yeah, n has to be three because three minus one is two, and the total number of nodes should be n minus one, good? And then doesn't L have to be one because also M of L is negative one? Yeah. yeah. So it would be negative one to positive one? See, I had a problem with, okay, well you know there's one angular node. Yeah, because one angular plus one radial is two total. That should, so this should be the next step. The next step is to figure out this cell. The total number of nodes is two. One of them is radial, so one of them has to be angular. Good. Mm -hmm. And um, so what can we do now from here at this point? Well, one angular node means if, L if is one. How did you get that was one? That, that this is one? No, that L is one. Well, remember that the number of angular nodes equals L. That's just one of our rules. Oh. N minus one is the total number of nodes. And the number of angular nodes is always L. Could you also can I, can I get the yeah, paper point? And is um, the type P because L is equal to one? Yeah. Let's back up for a second. Uh, I just wanted to point out: until we knew this, we did not know this. You can't just assume that this is one until we know that the number of angular nodes could here is one. one. Could you do it because M of L is negative one? That just tells you that L could be. Um, oh, it could be could two. Be, so yeah, L could be two. Okay. That's right. Or okay. three. That's yeah. right. That's okay, that's what I thought. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Um, until we know this, we don't know that L here has to be one. Okay. Uh, but now we do know that L is one. And yeah, now we can figure out is this S P D or F? 
Yeah, they didn't. Oh, and that's this spot up here. Uh -huh. So now we have this column completely figured out. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Well, the next column is n equals four. ML is positive three. MS is negative one half. Okay. Well, what can we figure out next here? Um, the total number of nodes is, is n minus one, so it'd be three. Yeah, four minus one is three, so that gives us a total number of nodes. Good. Um, How do you know? That, how can you figure out the angular radial? Then? Um, oh, could you do total, um, can L be 0, 1, 2, or 3? Could L be 0? No. No. Because that would not allow ML to be positive 3. So wouldn't it be oh, 3? 3. L could be 3. Or... Two. L could be four. Yeah. Right. Or five. Why? Or six. Why? Because, anything because it's negative three. whatever to positive, positive whatever. whatever. It just has to be something that includes positive three in its range. So it could be like could it be two? It can't be two because then ML would have to be between negative two and positive two, which it isn't. Um, it can't be between it, it has to be on the on the edge, like on the borderline. It can't be two because yeah, but so let's uh, work that out. Two less than three. If right. Well, so wait, no, 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 I have a question. For the, the second row, the second column thingy, ML can also be one. No, it doesn't have to be negative one, does it? Over here? Mm -hmm. Well, in this problem, we were given that this was negative I know, one. But if we weren't. Oh, yeah, if we hadn't been given this, that's right. This could have been negative one, zero, or, or positive one. one. Right, okay. But it could be zero. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, it, uh, so then that would have been consistent with everything else here. That's right. Because this was given as plus three, so this can't. And that could yeah. only equal zero. No, 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 I know. That's saying this number. I'm thinking about the next one. All right, so, so we were given here that ML is positive 3, so L can't equal 2, because right. that would not give us a positive so 3. L could equal 3, or 4, four or five. 5, so we can't narrow down what L is here. We can just put it in a range. It has to be right. at least 3. Number of angular nodes is also in that range. So the number of angular nodes has to be 3 or 4. Uh, oh, actually, I guess we can stop here now, yeah. since the total number of nodes is 3. three. You know it's 3, and you know there's 0 radial. How do you ask her anything? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay. okay, so actually I think we can figure more stuff out here. So, um, all right. So does everyone agree that uh, we got LL, L could be 3, 4, or 5, um, and then that would give, um, if, the, if L was 3, the angular nodes would be 3. Or if L was 4, the angular nodes would be 4. Yeah. Um, however, we know that the total number of nodes is 3. So this can't be above 3. Mm -hmm. So actually, we know that the number of angular nodes has to be 3. Okay. So far, so good. Which now means that we know that L has to be 3. It can't be 4 or 5. Right. Uh -huh. All right, so actually we can, this is, these are getting harder, but now we can narrow this down more. Um, this can't be more than 3, because then we would have more than 3 nodes, which contradicts this information here. So now I can get rid of these guys, and now we've narrowed down exactly what L is. L has to be 3, and that would give us 3 angular nodes. And 0 radial nodes. And 0 radial nodes. Yeah. And we've got one F. more cell. F because 3 corresponds to F. L equals 3 corresponds to F. Oh, that was a pretty cool one. All right. So at first I thought that all we could do is write down possibilities here, but we were actually able to work it down to exactly one number again in each case. That's a good question. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's try the last one. These are getting more interesting. So the last one is radial nodes equals 3, and uh, N equals 4, M equals positive one half. So because um, n is 4, the total number of nodes is 3. 4 and, minus 1, good. And then the radial nodes, the radial nodes are 3, then that means the angular nodes are 0. So that means s is the, okay, my question 0 plus 3 is 3, good. Okay, and this s, is s. So then l equals 0, yeah, good. And, then and we know l, l down here is 0. And then ml equals 0. zero. Yeah, ML has to be between negative zero and positive zero, so that one worked out. And I noticed they put X's up here, so it looks like they didn't expect you to draw these. Mm -hmm. All right, so we won't worry about drawing this.
These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.